Who's ready to get your fill of risk? I'm Phil, I'm a top grandmaster playing risk global domination. On my channel, we talk strategy. So for tips, tricks, and techniques, subscribe and follow. Today I'm playing Classic Fixed. It's a global dom game, world dom, classic auto, 60 seconds turns, expert AI, ranked on my main, fixed cards, balance blitz, no filter and ranked, alliances on, fog off, blizzards off, neutral bot, and no portals. So it's just a ranked game on my main account. Okay. Let me get my three out, dude. You don't need to hit a three. Oh, but see, he didn't give me a place to go with it. So I can't do anything with it. Oh, that makes me sad that a three is going to be gone. And yellow goes before me. But three people kill threes at the beginning of the games. So we'll see. You heard subs tomorrow? Nice. Yeah. Everyone subscribe to Olive right now. If he's at you could be his five hundred sub if you're in, in my chat. Okay. So I think I make an alliance with them. And I do. And I make an alliance with mm, Murphy Durf. And I do this. I'm not going for Australia, but this might save me some life. It might save me some troops. That was the wrong one to roll. You roll the one and you manual roll it. What is yellow doing? They wasted a lot of a troop. Okay. That was a bad that was a bad move. So I'm gonna lose like seven troops over here. Yeah, I'm gonna move up this way with that five. Try to combine all this into one army if I can. All this stuff, I'm going to move up to Afghanistan. I'm going to try to combine the Yakush, Japan, and India. Have one army and then fill in the gaps later. I like to do that. 501. What's up, Bob? How are you doing? That guy was 500. All I've just got 500 subs. That's awesome. I'm happy that I could help in some small way. I have some size on my YouTube now that, um, like Mallory today told me that, um, there I hit my three. I have nowhere to go with that three. So you're going to have to hit it or let me out. But like, uh, she told me today she gets subs when she plays on my channel. So that makes me feel good. Like, I'm happy that I can like help other people. Yeah, as I'm staring at the board and just like, I'm happy I can help other people. I really am like, to be in a position where you can do that a little bit. So I have no way out of Europe and North America. And now I can combine up all these troops somewhere in here. Just by like slowly going up. And green's gonna go this way, so I should be okay.
I need to be more passive. Lately, um, I've been too aggressive in my classic fixed play. You can also come this way, try to save these troops. Two troops? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to go up. I'm going to fortify all these together. And sit somewhere in Northern Asia. If I could get this three out, I might actually add one to it. Because then I could fortify into the two and then fortify over to the attack and fortify over to this two and then combine them with the rest of my troops and that would be a really good start from this position but i don't foresee yellow letting the three out and i don't foresee pink letting the three out because they both showed they're not going to do that what position do i think i'm going to get i think i'm not going to get a position Yeah. No, you're cool. You're cool, man. So white is worried about me. I gave him a thumbs up, and then they'll see on the next turn that I'm I'm gonna block myself from white. Like I have no intention of going to steal your Australia from you. And then white will be my best buddy. Yeah, I could shark the North America. Oh. First, second, third. Is what he's asking me. Okay, so this is going to be a purely mathematical answer. But... On the account that I rent Novice to Master on, I was around 72%. And then when I abandoned that account with the new raking system, I was around 72% win rate. Lately, I'm more like 60, but I think that's because I'm just being too aggressive. Um, maybe I'm overplaying Classic Fix. I'm really liking it, but... I'm being aggressive and like trying to team on people and stuff, which is not the greatest idea. So I would say I have something like a 60% chance to win this game. Yeah, I don't filter. I don't filter because it takes forever. Ideally, I would do like Master Plus. Ways to get over a 40% win rate. 40% is top level by the way but ways to get over a 40 percent win rate are don't give up um be usually it means being more passive which is too bad it's the bad part of this and then um Sorry, I'm watching this turn. Yellow is just not good. They might over attack next turn. If somebody clears up the rest of them, I could kill them. Okay. Yeah, so now white feels more comfortable. It was me that was making them uncomfortable. Yeah, so definitely just don't give up. Realize that sometimes you hit people and they're going to suicide. It's really about reading the players that gives that takes you from like a master or low level grandmaster to a higher level grandmaster in classic fixed. 
Did they bot yet? It looked like they were going to bot last turn. I think they missed. They might, they might have just gone to the bathroom or something and missed a card. They don't have cards. I'm going to be vulnerable again. Because I'm going to lose four more at some point in time. White will be the one that could kill me. You got GM on intermediate to GM classic fix. Yeah. I'll, um, when I used to play on lunch breaks, I could actually fill like beginner or intermediate plus, and they filled pretty quick. They filled pretty quick. Um, and I could do that with a progressive game on a random map as well. But when I play at this time of night, and maybe I should try again, it, it might have changed. Um, should I try and save these now? Nah. Go here for now. Here blocks all these troops in. And um, I feel safe because yellow has to punch through five troops. Cards. No trade. No trade. Doesn't look like they're going to kill me. Okay, the yellow kill is not viable. I think I move. Yeah, I see you. I'll move. Yep. Um, yep, yeah, I'll attack yellow. Yep. And then... You attack me. Let's be best buddies. Man. Here's the deal. I can't help if somebody tries to kill me. Who attacks? Boom, boom. Like, I can't help if somebody takes out my twos and then somebody takes out my stack. I can't help those things. Could go four and four or five this way, allow black in, and then try to move up next turn. Not in position to kill black, or white tries to kill me. Dude. This is a really bad start. Yeah, getting six is a, a horrible hit to skill points. My confidence is much lower. Because I have to survive a turn. I'm the weakest, and I don't have cards. If I had a 10 set, I'd feel okay. Do you think we roll the 2v1? In the event yellow does not hit it,
like the most passive place in the world, right? Yeah. I'm your best buddy. Hey, good. So now someone has to kill my two and kill all these troops. What set did I get? We got the worst set possible. So I just take a card and pass, take a card and pass, and sit in Japan. And if I can't get a card, I can't get a card. Don't hit my three. Okay. I survive. I survive for my first terrible, terrible trade. Maybe yellow rocks. Maybe yellow rocks green. Green hits yellow, right? Hit the one. He can't kill me. The twenty. There's way too much. Okay. This is bad news, bears. Lately, I see people killing it, killing each other more. He's playing real good. Black can't kill me, so I'm gonna trade. I'm gonna get a trade. It's just gonna be the worst trade after getting my troops annihilated. And being the one without a continent. See how high I can get. Maybe people go to war. Maybe yellow smacks green and I can kill them eventually. Mm. That's good. The more wars, the better. Because if people are going to war and I'm hanging out in the corner, that's the way you win these type of classic fix games where you're just turtling and very weak. You need other people to do stuff. I would not have done that. I would have zero carded before I did that. I gotta let white through. So I need to hope these people don't hit my three. Do I think yellow wants South America? Maybe yellow bots. I like the positioning of Japan. Yeah, black is indirectly helping me. But people consistently do bad things. So it's not surprising that someone did a bad thing. This is where it would be funny if I had um, automated bots, because this 31 might hit this 22. And just ruin someone else's game. Am I not? Who am I not allied with? Only problem with allying with people, they ask you to hit people.
I like this. Now I'm blocked. Somebody hits my three, though, probably. Because not people don't play optimally. Like, Green's move's probably one up. have a cannon trade. I'm going to use it. Good. Good. Quebec. I'm going to get my take with Quebec. If it's still there. Okay, it's black. But they could be a chill player as well. The Hawks. They don't like that they're blocked. Pink should have really... Okay, so the, the chain reaction, right? If pink hits Yakush, I can hit Siberia. Uh, green can hit your Rawl, and black can get a card here. Instead of black having to break pink. So pink should have at least hit Siberia Siberia to Yakush. That might stop black from breaking them. Because black might not break you if they had a card elsewhere. I, I may have used that turn to take that. And then taking it back on the next turn, depending on what happened. Hey, Bob, do you see the path to victory? War, war. If anybody hits white at any point in time, and I can fill in some gap somewhere at some point in time. Yeah, I rolled a three v one. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I don't think that black. I don't think that black is a good player. You're literally hitting your neighbor that has an 18 and an eight stack pointed at you. Like I don't see good players doing that because you lose the game when you do that. You the percentage, the percentage play is poor when you do that. So you need to give black an option that that is easy for them to see. They're saying that Black can move this 20 back to East Africa instead of being in the Middle East and get cards here. But I don't think that Black is thinking about that. I think that Black is thinking that they like having their armies here because that leaves this 20 stack active. They're not thinking, hey, I'm breaking this person over and over again. This person's going to get mad and eventually they're going to hit me because they have no other options in the game. They're like crapped right here. And like that. They could have attacked a 4v1. That wasn't a friendly move. Risk the 87% on the 3 in Europe for a card, then move the 20 back to into Africa. Yeah. 
That's a good move for them. Try to roll the 3v1. You should hit one more so that I don't hit your five for a card. That was a bad move. You're going to get hit harder. Because if I fail this 3v1, I don't know. Maybe do I add one to it? Is is it worth one to get a card? Maybe you can conceivably keep getting cards. I think I think black. I think pink next turns goes like this. So it costs me a troop to keep getting cards. I think I do it to give the extra thirteen percent. Yeah. You're right. Black wants to antagonize. So they were playing it for different motivations. Yeah. Let's see if I can get a big trade. Black is eventually going to get smacked. So I lose that extra troop now. And I will hit. No, I don't. I'm going to move it over again. Oh, yellow is so patient. I would have taken that. Just see. This is so weird right here, too. Like, why are you stacking on that border when he's outpacing you? Okay. They're doing this to give me a card. What do you think? Oh, no, they're doing this to trap. Well done. The trap green. Wow, that was cool. Who is white? Smurfy Durf. Oh, I'm going to change my mind and say Smurfy Durf's going to win the game. Mac, Mac, I'm weaker. They clean up. Green zero cards. One cards. You got it. You listen. Pablo. Pablo, honey. Let's attack my one and be best friends. Or attack this one and move to Siberia, single stack, and let's be best friends. Shall we? Shall we be best friends over here? Otherwise, I guess, um, why didn't I can trade cards forever? I'm going to add one and go over, though. They're going to bot out. They're going to bot out. Instead of go to war, they're botting out. It's a neutral bot, so it's going to chill. Okay. Or pink bots. Landino. Or pink bots. I'm like, what do I do now that pink doesn't want Europe? They keep hitting that bot. I 
think I roll the 3v1 now. I don't think I add to it because I have another card to take. Black, has, Black was prepared for war. They have no idea what to do. The war is over. Maybe I can clean up this mess at some point. You hate the neutral bots? Yeah, you can manipulate the other bot. Oh, I was going to roll the 3v1. Oh, what a waste. What a waste. I'm rolling it next turn if they don't kill it this turn. This is hand yellow North America. What are you doing? What are you doing? Demilitarizing the border now? I don't get it. Giving them a card, too. What are they doing? They're mad at white. They're mad at white. Hmm. Yeah. So pink can still come back for ten minutes. Cards. Nobody's army is facing me that can kill me, though. Yellow's bigger than me. Everybody's bigger than me. I'm just a small guy in the corner trying to survive. I don't know. Maybe I move back to regular bots. They create problems, but they also, I've seen them stalemate games. Three. Black's not good. That should have been a four. I think white knows what I'm doing. So I don't think white is nervous down here. Weird, man. Weird. Yellow, take the continent. If the bot player gives up, then I prefer neutral bots. But if they're gaming the system, I'd rather it be aggressive bot. It's an interesting take. That move by yellow or by white gave them an advantage over green. I don't know why yellow never took North America. I would have taken North America if I were them. Can anybody kill me? Yellow can kill me. Will yellow kill me? I mean, I don't think there's anything. I'm 
what's the risk that yellow kills me? 10%? Because a big trade, black might decide to kill me, but black doesn't have a big trade. And somebody unleashes white, white, white might try to kill me. Ah, I trade now. White's not going to ever let this go now. If yellow went somewhere else, I would go into North America and just chill up in northern North America. So I feel like that's more out of the way. Okay. I don't think he would, but sometimes people get sick of games and then just kill people to get one better placement and move on. Turtle for eternity strategy. We're enacting the turtle for eternity strategy. Pink bot I actually s slowed the game down because now pink and black are not going to war. So it created this bot. Okay, they're gone. They can't come back in the game now. They get sixth place. I'm I mean black's way in the lead. I'm not doing too shabby. I guess everybody else has cards that hasn't traded. Does green ever hit black in this situation? Black, why don't you just kill the bot for us all and equalize the board? Be a pal. Is is that what he's gonna do with that seven? To hit the five? No, he's gonna turtle for eternity. Probably the right move. Any place that others playing that strategy? Oh, it's my turn. Um. I think white is purposely being passive. They don't see a win, so they have two stacks. I don't like this. I like to have my stacks free. So I wouldn't have taken China. Yeah, we're cool. I don't know what you said to me, but we're cool. I'm going to say yes to whatever you say. So now he takes... North America, and then white busts green again. Right? It's going to be a long one. Go and watch him mates that he plays to others playing that strategy. Yeah. You almost have to play Paranoid to do really good in Classic Fixed. What could happen? Oh, he got it. He got it. What do you bet this four is gone now? What do you want? Did he just hit a five? He's trying to force me to do it. Sure. 
Green goes first. So I don't have to. You and I are good. Yep. I'm never hitting your nine. I hate that you're unlocking white. Why would you do that when he when he took out your spot earlier? That wasn't a good play. Yep, we're cool. I don't know what he's wanting. I'm trading my big set in and I'm happy about it. Yeah, take those green pieces. If I'm black, I take those green pieces. But maybe white wants to keep parity with black. Maybe he's worried. Does he kill him? Kill him. Kill him. No, he's a turtler. He's a he's a forever turtler. I don't see anyone interrupting yellow as well. I could, but then my game's just over. Sometimes people get angry at you when you know content like this and hit you. They're like, oh, he's not advancing the game. Did yellow just take pieces off of pink? Wow, that was a bad roll. Lost nine, attacking a seven. They're very confident that green's not going to hit them. I don't see white worrying about me because I keep blocking myself. <laughs> what are you going to do now, green? Are you going to get a card? Green won't get a card. Are they going to card block me? They're thinking about it. I've been cool to you this whole time. And you're not going to give me a card? It's a shame. Frankly, I die without cards. Or maybe that was about black? I don't think so. I think I move my troops up so I can get a card next time. I go up to Yakush. So I can get a card and I can get into like trading over here. I think that's what I do. Oh, hi, Matt in the hat. How are you? Or as I once said, Matina hat. I really want them to hit this five. Right here and hit this five. Do it. You know you want to. You know you want to. You want to give me a card? We're best buddies. They get one more card, they can kill green, and everything's cool still. But that might not be the best idea because oh, they're taking that one. Of course. I chose not to unlock. There, now they're smart. They'll kill him next turn. I think I need to make one big hit so I can keep getting cards.
As long as I don't call you for dinner. Lots of attacks. You are not going after that bot for four cards. Is it worth it? And then I get a card. And you're almost... They still have 59 troops. I don't hate that move. Fortify, fortify, fortify. Oh my gosh, they didn't fortify. Why are you going to keep card blocking me? They fortify into one big stack and make me scared to hit them. I can totally kill yellow, but it's a losing move. Is there any way to win this game? Are you going to get a card? Stuff's getting spicy. I'm going to get a card. Wow, I mean, if black wasn't going to hit you before, they are now. I think green just dies right now. Black can kill green and the game is still balanced. You can be the South America player over there. Instead of the Africa player that's big and around everybody. They're not doing it. I think I take a card. Because white can't double tap me. Or they could maybe. I don't think they will. I think they're playing to win. If I kill yellow, I lose. I'm down to 22 and I get 10. Cool. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm never, ever going to attack black. I am going to use the restroom. Bear with me.
Look at this. I take gear, but the board stays the same. Lock my buddy. They're going to take Europe. They're going to greet out, right? People talk about my pictures all the time. When I first sent them up, they were perfect, and I don't know how because the nails have stayed the same, but they've there's different gaps and different heights. It's magic. Cool. Don't go to South America. Oh, yeah, man. How are you, Hustler? Well, the thing about Europe is I have nothing good. I have no good play at the moment. I could kill yellow and then I lose. I mean, with good rolls, I could like take Europe, not even with good rolls, but like black's super greedy. I don't think anyone's going to keep him in check. Oh, yellow's going to keep him in check. Black's going to slam yellow. I'm going to kill yellow and black and win the game. In a 1v1 against white. Because they have troops locked. That's my plan. Oh, I need to allow. Every time you say hit a color or kill a color, it stops you. But I let it go. I was wondering if you called yourself Hustler because your name is like Hustler with a bunch of other stuff. You're Nixon on Twitch. Chill is fill time. Oh, yeah, there's no way he lets me hold EU. I'm just going to creep over. If I could, if, if it ended up a situation where there was only like 30 or 40 troops to take and they both had cards. Because these two over attack each other. I might be able to beat white. He's so greedy. He's going to try to take continents and stuff. Why don't we bet yellow like does something about it? White is not going to do something about it, I think. I think he will eventually, but not for a few turns. Maybe I do take Europe. It's an active stack somewhere. Black retreated, but he put his 37 inside of North America. If he could would have taken this and given yellow North America, he might have had the opportunity. And he's going to roll the 2v1. And he's going to blitz it, right? Yeah, and he fails. Okay. He hates black. White's too much bigger than me not to take the continent.
Oh. Take Australia. Don't need to trade. No one can kill me. Kinda slow, like maybe I'm playing on mobile. Did I lose a ton of troops? I should have slider blitz, right? Did I lose a ton of troops? Plus five, six. Taking one, two, three, four, five, six. That wasn't good. Okay. Black goes, then me, then yellow. If they annihilate each other but leave a bunch of cards on the board, I can win this game this way. Does the 50 come out? The 50 should come out, right? Okay, and I turtle. I turtle for eternity here. Does black still want to kill yellow? He's so active. He hates black too. Wow. But white's too big. Like, the move to beat white has to be a big move. Take Asia. Zach caught a gun. It says you're a first time chatter, but you are not. They're not going to deadliest trap me. Nixon Plumber, I don't think these people know how to deadliest trap, to be honest. Um, blocked himself. Interesting move. Black doesn't know what they're doing. Black's a beginner is what's happening. And so is yellow. And white... White could be a grandmaster. They don't retreat, they're not. Twelve territories and no one's paying attention to me now. White's playing really well. White could be a grandmaster. You think high expert master? I do too because they stole this continent from the most volatile player. So they're probably not quite grandmaster, right? I take Japan now. I let white attack here. I, I try not to unleash white towards me. But they gave it back to them. So that's a good move. Black's just like, I want a suicide so bad. Hey. Teacher Bob, what do you think my chances to win now are? After maybe should have been dead in this game.
That's such an aggressive move. How are you going to defend yourself? He can kill you, and we still have a game. Up two. There's a chance that somebody gets frustrated with me being so passive and suicides on me. It's possible. Why didn't I have been homies all game, though? I'm going to let him hold. We're cool. I'm never breaking you. I drink my water without undoing the, the lid. I could still get fourth. It's possible to still get fourth. Oh, and yellow saying not today. You don't get two continents today. Okay, white. Let's see what you do. Fortify's back. White's so strong. We need like black to suicide on white. If black bot, then I chill and hope that yellow gets bigger than four over, sixty-five over. That's the move I think they're gonna make. Asia, hold. You guys want me to hold Asia? This is trying to conserve my three. So then I get a take with my four and pull it in next turn. Making white go all the way around to kill me if they want to. Well, we might turtle up again. We might turtle up again. I thought black was going to suicide. It may be possible black didn't suicide because... Um, Because white got in on it too, so then they have two enemies. I don't care if you hit a bunch of my territories. I honestly don't care. I never. Well, look at, look at this, million. I'm not gonna lose. Yellow is gonna end up catching up to white. I'm gonna be in third. Black is going to stay behind me. It's all good. I want yellow to catch up to white. White knows I'm just going to take a card and pass. So their kill black problem is all about me taking a card and passing. Like, how do I beat Red now? Why? Why do I have to hit White under 12 territories? I think one more troop. Okay. Here's what here's my opinion on this. I don't care if he takes a card from me. Here's my opinion on this. I can get white below tell territories by making one two attacks. And he did it to me, right? 
White's been bigger than me the whole game, and he's let me just chill. White's also shown some aggression towards people. Does Black take another continent? No, you're cool. I'm sorry if I sounded harsh. So, White getting an extra troop when their army's facing a different direction? All right, all right, all right. You know what I mean? It's great. What, where, what are they going to use that extra troop on? Not me. I'm not closing myself. I'm only closing myself if it looks like someone's going to hit me or if someone feels threatened by me. my territory if you need to and you can attack my no attack my territory if you need no attack my territory if you need to there we go oh man that miscommunication is not good no dude no worries no worries. Black got greedy, and it looked like Black was on suicide on yellow. White came in and started attacking Black as well. So I, it's good that Black is the weakest player now. Um, and yellow catching up to white is good, so I'm going to let yellow hold, because then they're the ones that are like, oh, yeah, we're cool, but... Uh, I want to stay out of North America because I want Black to want to take North America because that makes them the enemy again. Black bots out, then we're in a three player game, and they're conveniently over here. I'll trade with White here all day, and I'm letting them have 12, so we're buddies. Calm down, Matthew McConaughey. Only reason I'm trading early is because White could decide to kill me. I do not think they're going to. But if I have a 10 trade, I'm using it. If it so happened that I was taking White below 12, I wouldn't make this attack, and I'd make some other attack over here in North America. We got a marathon of a game. But to survive, something like that. Yeah, I think so. I think that it's black that's going to do something in this game. I'm certainly not. I'm continent now, and I'm not the weakest player. And two people are gone before me. Everything's going great. Why are you hitting that one? Instantly proven wrong. I was instantly proven wrong. Wow. That makes me happy. That makes me so happy. I'm so happy right now. Do you think White is thinking, if I attack yellow, maybe black will too? There's the possibility of a trapping black if these two over attack each other. 40 troops difference. 
Like if Yellow suicided right now, came through here. You got all these with the 18. And then came through here. They could come through here and get all these. And then come through here, get a good roll. And then I could win the game. Killing them both. If yellow suicided and had cards. Because, I mean, they were so cool. Oh, white listened to my attack yellow. Yeah, that might lose me the game. It might cost me the game, actually. The fact that I asked them to attack and then didn't do anything. I'm going to take one off black. Why? I'm not asking you to do anything. He's not asking me to do anything. So I should be okay, right? It'd be fun to take Asia. Black's going to leave the game. Yeah, doing it a second time when I didn't do anything is weird and not asking me to do anything. So they might have just done it on their own. Okay, so they're still here. Um... I want to drop white below 12. It's funny that he's only willing to attack that one. Break. Yes. An extra hit just to be like. Didn't take back. The break and the take back would have been cool. Maybe bring your 18 in is a good idea. Black's gone and these two are in war and I'm Australia turtling. And I thought I was going to lose the game. Actually not. may just hit a black too if I can. I mean, we have to assume black is gone, gone. I have 14 territories now, but white only has 12. So I don't want white to say, red's the dude that brought me below 12. So they're fake bodying out. Fake bodying out. Tim. What are you doing, Tim? Let's hit two. Oh, 
I am now the strongest player. Um, yeah, but they bought it out last turn. They didn't do anything last turn, so that means they're like checking back. Now he's saying, okay, we're cool. Nope. Broke him again. I would not. Break him again, white. Break him again. Oh, your manual rolling. Okay, white is below. And black's back. See? What a scum. An interesting turn. We're stronger than white for the moment, for a minute. I'm stronger than white. I go every other with white and yellow. Thing is, white has to punch through a bunch of yellow to get to me. They can't kill me. I'm going to attack a few. I'll leave them over 12. Because they like holding lots of territories. They don't like that I got bigger than them. You gonna see another attack? Yes, they want to hold. They want to hold twelve, and they don't want me to hold. I bet they hit one more time. Yeah. That's fine. I don't care. Fine. Do we see them hit yellow now? I know they want North America. Quite very aware that I'm sitting over here in the corner, like just getting big. I don't want these people aware. I want these people to focus on each other. Focus on your neighbor. I'm tired now. After midnight, this game's lasting forever. Uh, like right away. Teacher Bob's asking, if they start working together on me, when do I do something? I abandon Australia immediately if they start working together. If they start, like, slamming troops in me. It depends. Like, I would probably go hang out in North America. So there you grabbing territories not just off me your territory grabbing trying to increase their lead which will work 
but I think yellow and black are going to see that he's hitting a lot. I don't know if they'll notice that he owns half the board. Yeah. So, for instance, if, like, black held Alaska and white held Venezuela and North Africa from the Middle East and yellow went to Ukraine, I would have very little answer for that. Fall back inside myself, something like that. Um, but if they started just like slamming troops into me or something, I'd relocate. And depending on how they do it, I might like bust through everybody and relocate. Or I, if you hit them both, good. If you hit one of them, they feel like you're picking on them. I try to say my wild, and I don't think anybody hits me because white's the only one that can, and they have to go all the way around the board. Shut that down and get back to 12. I don't need to. They're doing it for me. I mean, he's at 14, so he's getting seven troops, right? He is bigger than me now. I can both. Interesting. He expects the break back. Unlocked black, though. See, black and yellow had beef before. So he's hoping for the suicide. Everybody's turtled up, though. He's at 15 now. Do we see the 107 move? He's trying stuff. Full on turtling. Yeah, I think so. So He's trying to open both of them to each other. And what he's really doing is making them both feel like he's the enemy. And what I really need is one of them to slam white. And then I might be able to like come through and win the game or something. He moves a stack back there. Interesting. Right. Is there a move other than turtling that's a, the best move for me? Here, taking it. wins the game. Ah, this is what I like to see. Everybody stacks are pointing at everybody, but not me. Not little old me. I'm at white moves. What do you think? Oh, he's not having you anymore. He's not having you anymore. People are starting to say, I'm okay with second or third.
in you even more. This is awesome. Or Grand Emirate, but I would recommend taking Asia. <laughs> I've held Asia. I have games where I've held Asia. I, I don't know where they are. I know in my Novice to Grandmaster series, I think I did it twice, and I allowed Asia holds three or four times. Um, like, strategically allowed Asia holds. Because of what I thought it would do to that person, with that person. You don't understand Black's play here. What's the 12 for? What's the 5 for? What's the 3 for? What's the 5 for? They're not doing anything. Make me hit white, I guess. There's a lot of microaggressions. There's the yellow break again. We see yellow and black go from worst enemies to best buddies. They're going to secure the border. Nope. Like, screw you, dude. They're just like, I hate you. So if I'm white, I relocate and don't take a continent. You need to fall back. You need time and distance in order to make these guys forget about each other. And then they move into each other. Feeling like it. It's the moment. Nope. At the moment, I hate what Black's doing because they're gonna make me unlock White eventually. I have two cards left before I unlock White. I got the big trade. They do it themselves? Do they unlock white? Yeah. I can take one off black. This is just a troop saving move, so I can hit with that five next time and bring them all in, and not have to leave a three. It works. Mo uh, it works enough of the time that I think it's worth it, though I haven't done the math. Yellow's still preventing black from holding North America, which I find very interesting. Possible someone like white gets frustrated with me and goes to kill me. Okay.
think I can win the game is what's happening now. Yeah. Yeah, it's finally ending. I mean, I'm going to kill white because black's not fast enough. They don't know that I have speed even. I'm going to kill white and then first strike black's army and call it a game. Made it weird for me. I'm all the way around. Okay. Whoa. Easy game. <laughs> you should have seen the beginning. I was down and out. All right, let's check out my opponents. Novice, novice, intermediate, intermediate, intermediate. Okay. So we thought white was, white got bored is what happened. So, okay. Subscribe and follow.